hard. So look, man, I know I said I was going to leave you alone this week, but guess what? I lied. I ha. Now get mad. Over there on Say Cheese doing all that lying like that. Like we don't remember the truth. Man, my three the truth, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Hey, why they lying to them people like? Tell them people the truth. They been misled like they been misinformed. I don't do no diss on. Boo. All that lying over there. Sean Cotton. Get that dude off Say Cheese. Lying like that. But nah, let me get serious here. This dude yellow busy, right? This dude had a say cheese interview talking about Mo3 the whole time. Oh Lord. Talk about something else, yellow busy. Ain't that what y'all be telling me in the comments every time I make a Mo3 video? Talk about something else, Teezy. Keep that same energy for these dudes, fool. Hell, they over there talking about Mo3 more than me. At least my videos be like 10 minutes. They doing three hour interviews about Mo3. But yeah, he dropped that interview. And then he dropped his song with Lil Wayne. Shout out to Lil Wayne. And the song was pretty mid, fam. Now, a lot of people saying it's trash. I'm not going to go that far. At the end of the day, I'm not a hater. The beat was fire. Lil Wayne verse. I wouldn't say it was like his best verse. I'd give it like a 7.5 out of 10. He definitely did his thing. And yeah, LaBeezy. Well, his part of the song was mid. And if you mix all that together, including a mid hook as well it kind of balances out to a mid song especially for a Lil Wayne feature right no disrespect but this dude Yellow Beezy he, he made history man he has the lowest viewed Lil Wayne music video of all time Lil Wayne never in his life took how many days has it been for 11 days now going on 12 and it's still not at 500,000 views. Like a music video with Lil Wayne. And this what everybody was thinking Mo3 fans are supposed to have been scared of. Like that's the final boss. That's it. This is y'all king. Bam. Cut it out. And this is all Yellow Beezy fans fault, right? I feel bad for Yellow Beezy low key. Cause that dude don't do nothing to nobody. I'ma be real. He just be chillin'. Now he be lying hard as hell on Mo3. Boy, that dude stay lying on Mo3. But when it comes to him as a person, he don't bother nobody, fool. This dude never jumped in my DMs mad as hell in my comment section. He understands I'm a Mo3 fan. I just like Mo3 better than him. It's not the end of the world. It's nothing personal. And for him being able to respect that. I have no choice but to respect him, right? So again, I really do feel a little bad by how bad that this song flopped. Because this dude does get a lot of hate for no reason at all. Primarily because of Mo3, right? He don't want to admit it. Oh, it was just my record label. I was in a bad contract. That's why my number's down. That's why your number's down. It was a bad contract. Fool, Mo3 fans pat you out. Stop playing. People talking about Mo3 more than you in your own music video comments, fool. That ain't your record label. That's Mo3. But yeah, even with that being said, and I'm a huge Mo3 fan, this dude isn't doing anything wrong at all, man. Mo3 was dissing him. Rapping all about the G-Wagon. I was thinking about buying me a G-Wagon. And by the way, y'all think that was just a rap song. This dude, Mo3, was legit about to go try to purchase Yellow Beezy's shot up G-Wagon, G fool. Like, he went to go try to buy it. I'll make another video about that uh, some other time here in the future. But yes, after this dude G-Wagon was shot up, Mo3 legit tried to buy that exact G-Wagon with the bullet holes in it and all. So again, Yellow Beezy is doing nothing wrong, man. Mo3 hated him. He hated Mo3. When Yellow Beezy got shot, Mo3 was dissing him. Yellow Beezy has every right to diss Mo3. And this is coming from one of Mo3's biggest fans, right? But they're just being real, fam. But at the same time, he got to be real with himself, too. The same way he has the right to still diss Mo3 and talk about Mo3, etc., etc. Mo3 fans got the right not to like him for it. You see how that works? 
So never mind, I actually take that back. I don't feel sorry for this dude. I mean, it's life, fool. You know what's up. Stop talking about the dude. Maybe your views will go back up. You the one out here trying to be big and bad. Just move on and drop good music. But to wrap this video up because, <laughs> sadly, I, I'm not even on the topic yet. The topic is actually about a uh, woman college star, basketball star, LSU star, Flaw J, right? I know y'all heard about it. Especially the last two seasons, college with LSU. Her and Angel Reese, they was going crazy. Won a championship. That was a pretty big deal. But Flaw J is actually a rapper. A very dope rapper. This is one of those very few instances where I'll say, man, she probably rap better than she uh, play basketball. Because you know, usually when basketball players uh, start rapping, like it's cool, they probably can rap and everything, but it's a little cringy, a little corny. Nah, she's a rapper's rapper. Music good as hell, fool. And she actually got a little Wayne feature as well. And she dropped a video one day ago. And I just wanted to show y'all what a real Lil Wayne feature look like. Cause Yalla Beasy got my boy over there looking like a struggling rapper. I gotta let y'all know Lil Wayne ain't no struggling rapper, fool. He still get views. It's just nobody don't care about Yalla Beasy. So don't confuse what Yalla Beasy got going over there with my goat, you know. My goat still the goat. Them Yalla Beasy numbers. It ain't got nothing to do with my goat. But yeah, in one day, the video already basically got more views than uh, Yalla Beezy's music video with Lil Wayne. I mean, it's trending number 42 right now. 430,000 views. This is what a Lil Wayne feature look like. And she out rap you, Yalla Beezy. Have some respect for yourself. Get back in that studio. Change them verses. Up there rapping with the goat. With them little ABC rap. Get them little ABC raps out of here. Go watch Flaw J new video and see what a real Lil Wayne feature look like. But in all seriousness, this song is fire. This girl was rapping her butt off, right? Y'all already know Lil Wayne did his thing. And I want y'all to check her out. Really a good rapper. And I think she's highly underrated. I think she's probably going to be the first actual professional basketball player to have a real music career. Like she gonna be going to WNBA games, dropping like 15 and 10, and then gotta go hop on the jet because she gotta go perform at the BET Awards. I think she's the uh, the athlete that's uh, breaking that barrier. In the YouTube world, I will say it was like DDG, Pontiac made DDG. He made people start taking YouTube rappers a little more serious. And I think Flaw J is now doing that with professional athletes. The Girl Project is one of the uh, better projects that came out this year, to be honest with you. She can really rap, makes good songs. She even gets in her melodic bag. I'm a fan. Keep going, Flaw J. And win that championship next season. Boo! But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram, TZF Baby 252 Long Lil Mo 3. Yeah, LaBeezy, get my goat off that song. Take Lil Wayne off that song. I'm gone. Lift it. Ayy. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets.